All right, everybody, we're back. This is Kyle Van Noy with Vibing with the Van Noy's on another episode of Elite Eats. We're blessed to be here today at this wonderful hotel, the Four Seasons, kind of fancy. Ooh, it's called Zuma. It's a Japanese cuisine. It is amazing. And uh, we have two tickets to give away for the Cowboys game, November 24th. I need you to tag a friend, uh, explain why your friend should go to the game. I actually brought another friend with me today, my main man, Deron Harmon, AKA The Closer. Appreciate you coming. Oh, Accepted by yeah. Deron Harmon. Deron Harmon picked off again. Deron Harmon. All right, let's go. Okay, we have four different kitchen. So we have two sushi meals there. So this robata is uh, called it hot of the kitchen. Here we have cold dishes, we have vegetables, we have fish, and we have meat over there. And this is our main kitchen. Then we do fryer, the stove, and the salad as well. That's the good part. So this is like so everything is good part. Yeah. 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 So we have four different kitchens. So okay, let's let's go, let's go back. Point is 1000, you can open your eyes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have our main kitchen here. Uh -huh. That's sushi. Okay. Uh, made that look pretty good. He did. You switch it up every once in a while, or you make it the same every time? Uh, we try to keep it pretty consistent. Okay. It's yeah, not a football play. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Kenji, our head sushi chef. Kenji, How are we doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? So, we have the group into now, we have the group into now, we also have yeah. seasoning yeah. and we have the as well. So we get our fish locally, okay. and also we source our fish from Japan. You guys enjoy your lunch there. Right? Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. appreciate the tour for sure. How would you describe yourself as a player? Oh. Uh, Tom Brady, big fan. Okay. Uh, well, I would describe myself as a, a dependable, smart football player. Um, I'm not always, you know in a position playing free safety to make, you know, a lot of plays, but I feel like the plays that come up for me to make, I make them and I get to go out there and just, you know, go make a few. Um, then I try to help Dad with just the communication, making sure everybody lined up, you know, um, and just a guy that's going, you know, always put the team first no matter what, you know, yeah. just whatever my role is this week, that's what it is. I'm a roll with it and I'm a you know, try to do it to the best of my ability and just get it up. Yeah, I feel you. You yeah. also are a good leader. You calmed me down at times, like last game <laughs> in the Ravens. Yeah. Game. I, I got a little upset. Yeah. You're like, hey, come here, chill. <laughs> we won't say what I said. But. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I think the great thing about being on this team for, you know, seven years, I've been able to be around a lot of leaders, uh, like, Gerard Mayo, Vince Wilford, obviously, you know, Matt Slater, Dev, and, and Tommy Boy. But, like, when I talk to those guys about leading, they just tell me, like, everybody's different. How you approach some people has to be different. How you, you know, push people has to be different. Like, everybody is different. And the greatest leaders know how to get that from everybody, you know how to get, you know, the best from them know how to get the response that, you know, the team needs. Yeah, and so basically everything, unlike Kyrie, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, we don't, you know, I that's, plan, just, a, that's just a tough subject. But no, nah, I mean, something like yeah. that. <laughs> How'd you get the nickname Closer? Who officially uh, gave you that nickname? This is yeah, my question, because uh, I don't know this. To tell you, I think, like, the media. You know what? I think, actually, Doug. Doug was the uh, Doug was the one from Nesson. And I guess, I mean, just like I said, being dependable. Yeah. You know, in the fourth quarter, that's a, usually a lot of the times when I'm playing more consistently in passing situations uh, based on this team. And uh, just consistently being able to, you know, make a play on the ball at the end of the game and Doug saying it. But I don't think Thank it really you. came official until Bill came into the, uh, the team meeting last year after the Vikings, and once he said it, you know, he was like, that's why they call him the closer. <laughs> Give me, oh, yeah, and then I was just like, all right, well, I guess it's official. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's official. This one's from Sneaky AZ Shiite. Mm -hmm. 
He says, what's going on when you aren't working on football stuff during the week? Mm -hmm. And then also would be cool to ask each of these guests for their pregame rituals. Okay. Cool to see how each people, each uh, person gets their mind set up pregame. Yeah, so when I'm not doing football, you know, I'm, I'm doing something with the family, yeah. uh, either helping the wife with her business, uh, she has a uh, event planning business, Chris Fed Events. What is it? Chris Chris Fed Events. If you um, weddings, right? Weddings, weddings, weddings parties. birthday parties, uh, bridal showers, any anything that any is parties. a party. You Drinking. Know? She's well, yeah, got you. she she got you. <laughs> but helping her um, with uh, my three sons, uh, Christopher. He's eight. He's doing a lot of sports, so he's in basketball, football. So mm. taking him somewhere and being outside. Uh, Dallas just turned four, so. Mm. Good way on the bye week, his yeah. birthday parties today, nice, so I'll nice. be there. And then Captain, he'll be one uh, on the 18th. So, I mean, just that's I'm just crazy. a little busy. Yeah, I mean, busy family, but man. Exactly. That's so, a blessing. That's all it's about. And then yeah. routine for the game, um, yeah. I can honestly say I don't have one. Um, I'm not really superstitious or anything. I just kind of just... What about music? Music? What's, what's, all right, so you know what? So it is one thing. So literally, before we go out every day, Every game, I have to listen to one song, and it's like lit March Madness by Future. Like, so you know, I say I'm not superstitious, but that is that the is. last song that I listen to before I go out I like on the it. field. And I think it I'm gonna gets do that. Next I'm telling week. you, man, that's that's the ultimate banger. Easy question: <laughs> pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Okay. All pancakes. right. All right. Well, let's dig, dig on there. Ball. Let's get it. Thanks for tuning in yet again to another episode of Elite Eats. Uh, don't forget, ticket giveaway, November 24th, Cowboys game. Tag a friend, tag your username on, uh, that you're using on Twitter or Instagram so I can contact you to tell you you won. Uh, shout out Dan O'Brien, sponsor. Uh, you the man, check out my new commercial with him. It's pretty good. Um, and lastly, shout out my guy, Dude, for coming on. Right. And Shadow Line, those guys, elite videographers. Appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, you gotta come try one. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. Yeah. Try this guy. That one, yo. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. That was like yeah. one of the best sushi bites I've, I've had. Wow, look at that. <laughs>